Right now, it's one lane only. It has been for some time, but at 3 a.m., Highway 50 at Echo Summit is going to close for two weeks. There are going to be alternate routes for people who still want to get to South Lake Tahoe, but one business owner I spoke with says he's worried it's going to impact his income. Recently, many people who live in Lake Tahoe have voiced frustration about crowds of tourists coming through due to COVID and wildfire risk, traffic, and trash. But some local businesses say they'll miss the traffic coming through Echo Summit. Business coming from Sacramento is huge. Tim Kane owns a coffee shop and restaurant just on the other side of Echo Summit, heading towards South Lake Tahoe from El Dorado County. Uh, two weeks is a long time. Two weeks is a long time. There's a lot of business to, to be had uh, in two weeks, and two weeks with Caltrans can turn into three to four real easy. We first told you about the overall project last year. Caltrans started work on the Echo Summit side hill viaduct in May 2019. They say this project is going to replace the existing bridge built in 1939 with one that meets current seismic and safety standards. We've got seven 96 foot concrete girders that we need to install. The contractor needs to install, so they're going to have a lot of work to do over the next two weeks to get that done. In the meantime, people who use Echo Summit to get to and from work or home have until tomorrow to apply for a permit. That pass will let them use a smaller mountain road as a detour. For everyone else, Caltrans encourages them to use this alternate route via highways 89, 88, 49, and 16 that runs through El Dorado, Amador, and Alpine counties, adding up to about an hour and a half commute from Sacramento to South Lake Tahoe. We want to stress that South Lake Tahoe is not closed for business. Now, the entire project is expected to be completed in December, but the closure you need to worry about starts at 3 a.m. and is going to go through October 2nd. Now, Caltrans says weather may impact that end date, but right now they say they're on track to hit the target date.